Well, it did not end with a dub, that's for sure. The Nuggets lose in the season finale, and they lost big. Final score, 132-116 at the hands of the Portland Trail Blazers. Good news is they get to get them right back. It's Portland and Denver in round one of the NBA playoffs. Welcome to the Toyota Game Recap. And as the game is progressing, we're wondering what's happening, what's around the corner, what's this? Little did we know that the opponent was right there in front of our eyes. Yeah, and, and a lot of it, the, the, this is kind of a strange game. The Nuggets, Malone wasn't going to play all out to win, but Joker started, they had their regular starters in there, played some time, didn't play all that well. But it was all, everything going around the tank central around the league that created the opportunity where they're going to play Portland again. I'd just like to take a moment. We made it. We're here. <laughs> we, out of the whole day, we're watching scores. We're trying to predict who the Nuggets might play, what, out, what outcome might happen around the NBA, what the West might look like. We did it. Yeah. It's done. The Nuggets have the Portland Trail. And as far as the matchup is concerned, the Nuggets go 2-1 and one against Portland this season. We won't even count this game because, for obvious reasons, we don't need to get into. But they, uh, the previous two, the Nuggets won. But both of those games – Came down to crunch time. They were very close games that could have gone either way. Well, it, the one thing that changes statistically, I think in these games, the Nuggets defense really good. Um, one of the reasons why no uh, use of Nurkic was out in those two games. So Portland averages about 100, almost 116 a game, and that's gone up later in the se season. So how can the Nuggets defend Portland to a level that gives them a good chance to win. That's going to be the key, and that surrounds their dynamic backcourt. Yeah, and the one other note, too, is just Jamal Murray played in sure. those games. And so where are you going to make up for his production offensively and defensively, really, uh, if you're the Denver Nuggets? Because you're going to need to score against the Portland Trail Blazers because they're going to score. Listen, so bottom line, you want to be Portland. you got to find a way to slow down. I'm not sure you could stop both of them, but you got to slow down. CJ and Dame, because when they get it going, look out, especially Dame. Last time the Nuggets played these guys, uh, 2019 playoffs, it was McCollum's time. Remember, McCollum was the guy that made the difference in that game seven. Yeah, he sure did. And, and the Nugget, like Kay said, the Nuggets scored well, had a chance to win game seven, up 17, but then the scoring dropped. And the, and the thing that scares you about Portland, they, they shoot almost 41 threes a game and they shoot almost 39%. They're, they're number two in the league in, in attempting. They'll shoot them early, off them, and from anywhere this side of half court, and they get going, they're tough to beat. Nuggets are going to have to make some threes themselves. Katie, uh, we all think Joker's going to do his thing, but he's going to need some help, and that, that comes in the form of MPJ. He's Ab got to score. Absolutely, and we saw what Michael Porter Jr. kind of got in that bubble playoff experience. Okay, well, now we're going to have playoffs in front of some fans, and there's going to be some people in the building. How is he going to rise to the occasion this time around? This season, though, has been truly one to remember, a historic season for Michael Porter Jr. You'll see at the bottom there, first player in NBA history to shoot over 54% from the field and 44 percent from three he needs to be the efficient Michael Porter Jr. that we have come to know and love within this Denver Nuggets offense and he'll be just fine he, he just has to take his game again to to a little bit of a new level consistency wise when they start challenging him and getting physical with him how is he going to respond because I think that's what they're going to do well it, we shall see how this plays out the Nuggets hope to get some guys back uh, the playoffs begin either Saturday or Sunday at Ball Arena be there. We will. Nuggets and Blazers, they've met in the playoffs before. That one went seven games. I wouldn't be surprised if this one goes seven again. Thanks for watching. See you this weekend.